Hi, my name is Toji Foye. I'm a fashion designer. I'm CEO of Toji Foye. I have been in business now unofficially for five years. I feel like I was almost born into it because at the time I was born, my parents were actually making clothes. That's actually how they started. That was actually their first job. Um, my, gran my grandmother went to London College of Fashion. That's on my uh, mom's side. On my dad's side, she was also um, a seamstress. So I just think I've always been somewhat surrounded by fashion. Having African parents, I was told I needed to have a proper degree first, proper degree, before moving on to my passion, which is fashion. So I finished my degree in law. I went on to do my master's in law. And then I took a break. I went to fashion school in Milan. And then I moved back to Nigeria to complete my law education by going to law school. And since that time, I've been running my own fashion business. Running a business in Nigeria is generally very challenging. Um, it has its ups and its and downs. Um, so I don't feel as though we have enough um, distribution channels in Nigeria. What I mean by distribution channels is pieces that actually carry other, like um, department stores. You know, abroad you can walk into any department store, Selfridges, Macy's, and see tons of different designers. But in Nigeria, you don't have that many department stores. It's usually your own boutique and that limits how much you can actually sell. It, it limits your reach, basically. Um, another challenge that I face would be um, the culture, the buying culture, generally in Nigeria. Nigerians, I mean, I'm a Nigerian too, so we're generally spoiled for choice. Everyone wants to have that custom-made dress. So technically, it affects your ready-to-wear market because most people don't want to buy what they can see on the shelf. They rather come to you to make the same thing, maybe in a different color and a different fabric. So that's another challenge that I face. I would ideally like to be able to produce at a larger scale because it saves me time and of course money. But the culture doesn't always permit. Short term goals. My bridal wear line. That's something I want to launch this year. Long term goals. I would like to expand my business out of Nigeria. I would like to, I mean, I'd love to see myself in New York, London, Milan, Paris, wherever. So as much as I want to achieve these goals, to be honest, I like to pace myself. I would never want to do anything if I'm not ready. I would never want to do something halfway. So I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it all the way. So right now, like I said, my main priority is my bridal wear. So I'm putting all my energy and effort and time and money into that. And then once that's somewhat established, I can now focus on expanding. I would hate to expand internationally and my business locally is having to suffer. My advice to women trying to start their own business would be, you have to try. I feel like if you're passionate about something, you just need to give it your all. You will never know if you're going to succeed in business or in anything that you're going to set your mind to if you don't try. So that's the first thing. The second thing is there will always be challenges. There's no business that's actually easy. So you have to have thick skin. You have to be ready for whatever it is that comes your way. That being said, try to remember that, okay, it's actually something that you enjoy. So for me, it's been difficult trying to strike a balance between the business side and the fun side. But always, so I always try to remember, as much as I'm having fun, this is also business. I also have to make money from this. So try and balance things. Also, you need to remain strong. No matter what you face, no matter what the challenges are, you need to always remember why, why you started. I definitely think I'm a hustler. I think to be able to succeed in business in Nigeria in general, you have to have that hustle spirit because you have to be able to push. You have to be able to find opportunities for yourself because not a lot of, I mean, nothing's really handed to you. It's either through your work, or through your connections, whatever it is, you actually need to push. In relation to your passion, I would say you definitely need the hustle spirit because as long as you're passionate about something, you need to be able to make money from it. You need to be able to make it in business. And then for me, that's when you're successful. Success for me is when you're able to balance the two.